Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and today I have a fun shaker card to share with you. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Gnome Dyes Pot of Gold add-ons, their Build-A-Booth Clover add-ons, their uh, Gnome Dyes, along with the Gnome Dyes St. Patrick's Day add-ons, the Doodlebug Gingham Linen, Rainbow Petite Prints, and the Doodlebug Pot of, or Lots of Luck Odds and Ends, and the Lots of Luck Pad. Okay, so I did put together these two on our last uh, release video. And that's just using those, you know, the March um, St. Patrick's Day add-ons for the gnomes. And I got these full front shaker uh, acetate pieces from, from um, Amazon. So I, I don't know, they didn't really have a company, but you know, they have the little tabs to fold. So I thought I'd get them and see how they are. So this piece of paper is a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Doodlebug Grasshopper Dot Stripe. Um, that's the 12 inch and I cut it down to four by five and a quarter inches. And now I'm using some red line tape and lining these little tabs with some red line tape, just because I really like using red line tape with, you know, acetate. There we go. And I'm just trimming it with a pair of scissors. And then I'm going to peel them off. All my die cutting today was done with my Gemini as per usual, working on, on a Stampin' Up pad. So you'll see that I'm folding in the tabs on three sides and I'm going to leave one side open so I can put my shaker bits in there. Okay, so there we go. And isn't that fast to make a shaker front? So fast. Now I've got a mix of a bunch of sequins, some gold, different greens. I believe most, most of them are from, uh, are from Queen & Co. Uh, but I don't really have the names, uh, just a bunch of different greens, green shapes, you know, and I did throw some gold in there because I'm going to have a pot of gold. So there you have it. And I'm just sort of, you know, popping as many in there as I think will fit. There we go. And then I'm going to peel off that last piece of red line tape and fold it over. And there you have it. So a very fast full front shaker card. I'm just using my Teflon bone folder to make sure it is stuck down well. Now I'm going to use an ATG gun and I'm going to cover the back with some ATG tape. And then I'm going to pop that onto the front of an A2 size card base made from Paper Trank white cardstock. 4.25 by 11 scored at five and a half inch inches with my Teflon bone folder and using my Martha Stewart scoreboard. There you have it. So just popping it on there. Isn't that cute? So cute. And then on the inside, I'm going to add a strip of paper from that Lots of Luck six inch pad again. Whoops, there we go. Just a one inch strip. And I will trim the overhang with a pair of scissors. So as I said, this is really easy. And then I've got a piece of um, some ephemera from the odds and ends, lots of luck um, little package. And I'm going to add these to the inside of this card. So I've got this cute little um, St. Patrick's Day leprechaun, I guess. And he's sitting on a pot of gold, which kind of, you know, echoes because there's going to be a pot of gold on the front. And then I'm going to have a little little one little speech bubble that says cheers and then these two speech tags that will say happy and march i think it says march 17th i can't really see because it's covered by my by my um editing software so there we go and then i'm going to add on this cute little pot of gold that i put together for our, um the february release and i'm just going to pop the little head from the gnome sticking out from the back of that. That was made with American Crafts, um, light brown cardstock, gray cardstock, silver or gold, gold foil cardstock from the Christmas foil, doodle bugs, gingham linen, along with some Simon Says Stamp black glossy cardstock for the actual uh, pot of gold. So now I'm going to add another speech bubble. So it says, you're my pot of gold. That's from that same um, lots of luck, odds and ends. And then this is a little speech bubble. It's a gold one, just with a little heart. And now I'm going to add two other hearts 
which are from the same little um, ephemera package that Lots of Luck Odds and Ends. And I'm just popping those up with some dimensionals from Simon Says Stamp. So isn't that cute? I just think that they are adorable. Now I'm going to add a little clover that is from the um, clover add-ons, from the Build-A-Booth clover add-ons. And now I'm adding on two little hands that were cut from P13 stamping pad skin tones, the same as the little nose. And I'm just popping those up like he's peeking behind that pot of gold. So easy, easy stuff. Now, I'm just pulling out my art glitter glue and I'm going to add a few more loose sequins in gold to the front of this. You know, sort of like on the gold and a couple dripping down, because why not, right? Using uh, my Studio Katia embellishment wand to pick them up. And that makes things really easy. I don't know if you can hear, that's my cat snoring in the background. <laughs> He's a loud snorer. So there you have it. So how cute is that? I just think it's adorable. I'm going to pull out my Secure White Jelly Roll pen in a number 10 and add a few highlights to the inside ephemera. Um, just to add a little something something. I find it just makes them not look so flat. But like I said, really easy stuff. And there he is. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on some of these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we will see you soon in my next one. Bye everyone.